Hello there and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4 where I'm playing as Kata Koyonlu. It is 1583. Yeah, I'm getting closer to my goal of forming Persia. Last time I took it a, I took an alliance with Chagatai. We should add a bit of strength. Got my lines with Moltan. Oh, the city of Najaf. As custodians of the holy mosques of Najaf, we are responsible not only for the holy shrine. A state that claims this honour is also expected to defend for both the population of the holy cities as well as the pilgrims they attract. For this purpose, many rulers have devoted great resources both within the cities themselves and large tracts of faraway farmland in order to feed and maintain the area. Some say Pierre Budak has not been paying attention to these cities that they deserve, that pilgrims are no longer safe and that there is great want in the streets of Najaf. Hmm. Well, I definitely want to lose stability, because at the moment that is a priority of mine. I think I used to lose a bit of tax modifier for 15 years. Not great, but let us set aside more land for the upkeep. Okay, so yeah, alliance with Moltan. Alliance with Chagatai. And I'm building towards an alliance with Muscovy. Wow. Let's offer said alliance to Muscovy. That's huge. I can't rule marriage because they're orthodox. Can't rule marriage Chakatai yet because it too many diplomatic relations. That makes no sense though because we won't add an ex extra one. But, wow, okay. Multan, I believe, already got one. Yes. So I can raid Multan back in. I can raid Ardabil. I must have boosted that just for funds, I think. Yeah, okay. Read him back in now. That's given me access to a lot more army, hasn't it? So I wanted to attack the Timurs directly. The minute one ally being Bashkidia. I don't know who Bashkidia are. Who are your allies? Diplomatic. Hmm, they're guaranteeing the independence of the Mammarchs, that's odd. Who is Bashkidia? Hmm, stand by. Oh, it's, hmm, it's right them up there, that's not really a miniature then, is it? I'd love for them to bring Muscovy into a war. They're fighting another war at the moment. Once that's over, they're on board. Who are they fighting a war with? Lithuania and Poland, which is going well. Okay. Now I can build more units, so I might do that. Let's get a few more artilleries to go with what I've already got. Let's go two more there. That's right down here. Two more there. Now, the question is, do I want to reform a government before forming Persia? Reforming Persia will give me prestige. Nothing else, really. Reform the government's going to hurt, because I'm going to lose a lot of stability. Agricultural revolution. We have managed to increase our agricultural production by implementing new farming techniques for plantations, irrigation, and land properties, organizations, and thereby bring higher tax income to our state. This is all about the province of Sudaya. Where's Sudaya? There it is. Um, it's pretty low. Man, I'm not really worried about manpower. It's going to be tax or production. Looks like tax is winning. Let's raise taxes even higher. Okay. 
No point doing conversions. Now, I can adopt Persian as a culture, but if I convert, is there any point doing that? I don't think there is. There's Muscovy's War going reasonably well. Am I got Muscovy on here? I don't think I do. I better add my allies. No. Did I just change everything? So I've got all my allies selected. I guess I'll add the Timrids. No, Chagatai's have cleared war on something. That's not good. Maybe the Memlux as well. That should do for now. Okay. Debate over the philosophy of Ibn Arabi. My favourite event happens God, almost every episode. Ibn Arabi was an Andalusian scholar and mystic, regarded by many Sufis as the foremost spiritual master. His pantheistic philosophy of the unity of being viewed all of creation as a manifestation of God and invited worshippers to see divine beauty in all aspects of life, not merely in the traditional rituals of Islam. Ever since, debates have raged on over the compatibility of his philosophy with scholarly interpretations of Islam, with some going so far as to label him an unbeliever. For many Sufis, on the other hand, Ibn Arabi's philosophy became the foundational principle of their religious practice. Now we too are being asked to take sides. Legalism, please. Mm, so Chagatai's in a war against Sane, which won't take them too long, I don't think. So I can probably wait on that. Now I am bleeding to Diplo power a month, but once I've got what I want from the Timurids, I'm going to uh, annex Biapis. I'm going to probably just ditch Multan as an ally, to be honest, because they're not really that great compared to... Oh. Akon aren't great either, except at least Akonlu. Well, they're. It's an ally of convenience, really. As soon as I see the Ottomans drop them, I'm going to drop them. A remote with Artable just ended, so I'll get that reinstated. Muscovy's still going in the war, so I'll let them be for the time being. Now yeah, my Sultan is strict, so I've got increased army discipline. New units are ready, so I can incorporate them. Okay, here's a question. Combat width is now 29. 18 on the front line. Maybe I'll infantry to 18, no, I've got 20 in the front line. What if I got another cast iron cannon on each one? Yeah, that would do. That kind of allied with the Mamlux, that's... Treason against the Karakonlu. Recruitment is out of necessity, something that has to be a somewhat decentralized affair. Often it will be entrusted to nobles in the capital, and then they're responsible to turn up a turn up a set number of men in the various provinces under our control. This is a system that to some extent relies on trust as the central government is not involved in the details of countryside mustering. And the only form of control we have are the often sporadic inspections of the army itself the army itself conducts. One such inspection in Avars has unearthed quite a local scandal. The roles we have for the area is full of fictional names and nobody seems to know what we could actually muster from the region. Hmm. Local unrest plus eight in Avars. It's not really an issue, I can probably cop that. The Miz lose a bit of loyalty, yeah. Uh, 
Only professional and will drop a little bit. I say we must punish the perpetrator and conduct our own survey. Screw it. Why would you ally with the Mamluks? The pilgrims are safe. Our efforts to protect those of our subjects who seek to perform the pilgrimage to the holy cities of Mecca and Medina have paid off. It is now long since it was the last raid and the realm is at peace. Excellent, I gain 10 prestige. My concern is that the Ottomans are going to want to attack... Oh, no. Disregard. The Ottomans are going to want to attack Ak Krona at some stage. And I don't want to be called in on a defensive in that. Muscovy's still going for their war, it's fine. Let's start getting some spy networks going. I kind of want to ditch the member and ditch Akron as an ally. I just don't want it to upset the Ottomans. these troops out now. Send that army up there. Can I grab these troops out safely? Yep. Let's get my armies in position at least. I want to be able to jump onto the war as soon as I can. So Ottomans won't help. Moltan won't help because of debt. I could almost pay them really. Chakatai's in debt. Ak currently won't do it. Muscovy in another war. I want at least two allies. Obviously, I want Muscovy. If I get Muscovy and Chagatai. Yeah, Muscovy and Chagatai, I think I want. Molten is probably a bit more optional. Let's get a claim on Yemen while I'm here. Okay. Want to build some more boats? No, not really. Can't really afford to. Alright. Muscovy's pieced out. Let's do a double check. Timurids. They have 44,000 troops. They have much less tech than me. If I was to declare war on the Timurids, Muscovy would join. That would surely be enough. Chagatai be good to have. I might be able to call them later, maybe once their debts are worn off. Question is, what is my goal going to be? I might make it Ardican? And then I can jump in and take Yazid. Okay, let's call him Muscovy. What do I pay off the Chakatai debt? They're already fighting another war. Let me just wait for a little bit. Oh, I've run out of rivals. Um, who does Muscovy rival? They rival Denmark. So maybe I too will rival Denmark. 
This war must be over soon. Yeah, I'll wait for them. No. no the visor just died. Let's get a level 1 guy for now. I must say you got troops. Just need Chagatai. Come on, you own. What are you waiting for? Let's just declare war. I'll bring in Muscovy. Muscovy should be enough. Goal is Articane. Declare war on the Timurids. No, obviously, I have to get. Oops. Bashikira? I'll get, um. Must be able to take care of these guys for me. And get them knocked out. Nice and quickly. Okay. I'll start by sieging it. Sieging down the provinces first. I've got to turn all my forts on. And I've got to send my navy back. Oh dear. I'm always forgetting something, aren't I? Lost three ships. Did I lose a general during that siege? Jeez, that's unfair. I lost a whole fleet. That's annoying. I'm always forgetting something, aren't I? I wonder. Where do I get a... Oh, I've already... I can't get another general yet. Hmm, my lights? The Royal Magic Moltan just ended. Maybe I'll cancel... That rival, or that alliance, so save a Diplo point. If you're not going to join in the war, he's going to dissolve the alliance. And that's only cost me one point a month, which will be undone when I annex by Apis. We are now currently sieging down a province, which is good. Issues up here, which I'm going to, need to take care of. Once I've got these provinces, I'll do that. Whoa, they're really trying to spread out. That's because I didn't turn my forts back on. Didn't, didn't think they were going to do that so quickly. But they did. That's fine. Muscovy's already in their lands. Blockade! The people of Manama rely heavily on their port to supply the city with what it needs. But the blockade against Bahrain has cut off both many luxuries and some goods they claim are, necessity, are nece necessary to run the city. The people can hardly make do with gems alone and they're turning to the Sultan to find a solution. This is divert resources to get goods delivered via land routes. 25 million points, I'm sure I can cough up that. Okay, let's go get some of these provinces back. Hmm. 
No, Chagatai's now made peace. What would they need for a call to arms? Money. I'll wait for this siege to go down. Max admin power. There's the siege done. Give him another general. Okay, so my war goal's done. I've got a lot of work to do though, still. You know, Basha Kira hopefully will be gone soon. And I'll let Muscovy do their thing. Yeah. So I'll continue this war next episode where I will hopefully take the last promise I need for Persia. Thanks for watching guys, appreciate the support, and as always, hope to see you next time, take care out there.